ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Podcast Juice, and this is the podcast on Prince. My name is Michael Dean. Joining me today, we have Mr. Frank Collier. Sir, how are you? I'm blessed, brother. How you doing? I'm doing good. Now, some of y'all would say, who is Frank and what has he got to do with Prince? Well, I I met Frank, uh, man, this was over a year ago now, I believe. This was, yeah. Like, so I think 2018 it's going or something like that? Yeah, yeah, tw- yeah. It yeah. was um, an event at the, uh, and I actually have it in front of me. It was the, uh, gosh, the Historical, it, historical Society uh, Museum yeah, you know. uh, right. up in Minnesota. And uh, something that Chaz uh, had put together. And it had the family members up there. And, and, and now I know some of my listeners are like, oh, yeah, I remember I watched this. But, yeah, it was that event. And Frank uh, is a cousin to Prince? Is that First right? cousin. First cousin. Yes. yes. And he was up on stage along with uh, Pepe Willie, uh, Chaz, uh, Chantel, and uh, what's the name? Spike Gentleman. Moss. Frank Spike Moss. Moss. Spike Moss. Excuse me. Yes. Spike he, Moss. He, he yeah. really put it down. Uh, That's the man right there. Yeah. So salute to him. So that's how I initially had met Frank and just kind of behind the scenes every once in a while, we can get a chance to chop it up. But it was always like, yo, we got to come on the show and really have a good conversation. <laughs> so now yeah. we are here. And so with that said, I'm saying, you know, Frank is related to Prince, first cousin. Um, and we rarely get to hear a family member talk about Prince, right? Or get their experiences. Right. So or, so this is what right. we're doing. Yeah. So man, so Frank, thank you for coming on. It's cool. Glad Appreciate to be here. It. And also we have to mention too, and we'll get into it. You're also a musician mm-hmm. as well. Um you that have your right. own record company, uh Stomp House Records. Right? That's it. Okay. Yes sir. So man, let's just let's, let's start back. Let's take it back, man. Um where are you from specifically? Are you from Minnesota or where, where are you well, from? Actually, <clears throat> I was born in Chicago, born in Chicago, raised in Minneapolis, mm-hmm. you know, moved here in uh, 75. So, I, you okay. know, that was my place of residence growing up, you know. OK. And yeah, so and did you, <laughs> you grew up in uh, Minneapolis? Yeah. 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 And so take me back to, you know, your your years of when you came up. Uh, you know, what was your experiences like out there? Oh, man. You know, one thing I can always say, and by the way, my birthday was uh, the 18th, you know. Oh, that's right. Happy Shout birthday. I saw, the, I saw some stuff online. Shout out to you, man. Uh, Celebration. Right. right. Yeah. Um, I had, you know, and regardless of what I go through as an adult, brother, you know, I can honestly say that the, my best living was in my childhood, <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. I had a great I had a great childhood, man, you know. <clears throat> I had a, a chance to see a lot of people go from local musicians to national stars, you know? Mm. I mean, like up and close, you know? Um, Prince got his record. I, well, I told this story at the uh, uh, the panel thing, but, um, you know, I was nine, when, you know, between nine and 10 when he got his record deal. Okay. So that was, you know, so once, you know, like once that happened, you know, then that made me want to uh, take, take things a little serious with the music thing. You know, I, I think as a kid on the North side, you know, we had a lot of musical influence way before Prince, you know, especially with the thing that uh, Spike Moss had did with the way, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and we'd have the little festivals every year and they wouldn't, you know, they'd, they'd have all the bands, all the, all the great bands come to the Phyllis Sweetly, you know? Wow. So that, that was, a, yeah, that was cool, man. Um, So what, let me ask you this. Let me ask, what's your, uh, cause some people say, Want some question? What was the first recollection, or wh- when did you first meet Prince? When I met Prince, yeah, you mean like when? Oh, uh, come on! I mean, his mom was my mom's twin <laughs> sister, so <Right>? okay. <laughs> you know, it is funny because people they always say, "Well, have you ever met him?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like have you ever met him? It's like I, you know, that's your okay. family, right? <laughs> <It's> like, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, like I said, I was nine. Um, Prince wasn't too much. Uh, I don't think he was living at the house, but he always, when the album, you know, we got signed or whatever, he would always come to the holiday functions and stuff, you know, like okay. Christmas, Thanksgiving, okay. and his mom's birthday or something, Mother's, you know, Mother's Day and stuff like that. So and he was course, older you know, than you, I take it, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was born in 69. He was born 58. So. Oh, we're the same age. I was born in 69. <laughs> okay. <laughs> OG. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so he was so, that um, older cousin. Yeah. A little older. Yeah. Okay. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know and, me and, 
Yeah, me and Omar are around the same age. So, okay. you know, I, I stayed over there a lot. I hung out over there a lot, you know. I so, you. it's me and Omar just hanging out, man, you know. How did, uh, okay, so that, yeah, I wanted to kind of get some perspective on that. Um, so, you would see him, you know, be like the family functions or yeah. hot you know, yeah. dinners and things of that nature. Yeah. Yeah, Once yeah. He, so when that album came out, you was nine, ten years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, you was probably playing more with uh, Omar and things of that nature. Oh, yeah. yeah. How did um, over the years, you know, and I'm saying like before Purple Rain and all that, but just over yeah. the years, what was it like in the family in terms of, well, you know, Cousin Prince was putting records out. I mean, I'm sure all of y'all were aware of that. Were you aware of like every album and things of that nature? Oh, yeah, was that definitely. Like? <clears throat> you know what? Uh, my mother, you know, one that was told to me over the years, even at a young age, that, you know, my mom was like the favorite aunt, even Tyker, you know. And uh, not to start no stuff about that. <laughs> but um, so my mom was a big supporter. My mom was always the encouraging type of woman, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To, you know, make you believe that you can do anything. And, you know, you know, the average supportive black mother, you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, it was, it's, it's, it's my, my aunt Maddie, she took, uh, her reception to it wasn't, it, you know, my mom was the, you know, told everybody, you know, this is my nephew and, you know, and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. I might didn't, you know, she was always kind of laid back, hmm. you know, I really got, I really seen her excited. I seen her had her fun, but you know, she was just a cool laid back lady, you know? Okay. Um, Everybody, well, you know, everybody in the family, of course, we're, we were proud of him. You know, I mean, he was doing things, crazy things that we thought at least, you know, with the outfits and the style of music <laughs> mm-hmm. that we didn't know what to think. But we knew we loved him. That was our relative. And we had to support him regardless, you know. Right. OK. Wow. Yeah. So, so I, was, I was, you know, I'm kind of thinking of like when Dirty Mind came out. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, OK. So yeah. Y'all was like, hey, that's hey. our that's my that's my cousin. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, one thing about that, man. Okay. So with the dirty mind, so I'm like 10 around this time, maybe 11, maybe I'm not sure. Um, like, you know, his style, his fashion style or whatever, you know, back in the day, you know, uh, you know, people had this big homophobic thing going on. Like mm-hmm. they probably still do or whatever. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but, um, to me, you know, because I, at an early age, I knew, you know, if a guy was, you know, whatever, different than, you know, me or whatever. So I never looked at him like, I never looked at him like and felt that, you know? So that, so that look to me was cool. You know, if I thought if he wore it and made it cool, then I could do it too, you know? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Where the pictures at? With this? <laughs> Did, I know. I remember you asking that other video, man. I'm like, y'all, y'all don't want to see them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was crazy, man. But, uh, Man, you know, overall, man, it, it was cool. It was a cool experience, you know. <laughs> and then we, you know, then our relationship, of course, the bigger he got, you know, the more distanced, you know, we were going to be, uh, you know, to a point. But all the uh, after parties, all the concerts, he made sure that we, you know, got the limo and went backstage and seen the show okay. and then the after party, you know. So I thought that was cool. I thought that was yeah. cool because I'm, you know, I'm backstage. We go straight to the dressing room when we go to these shows, mm-hmm. you know. So I'm at a young age. I'm seeing the big picture of what, what music does, the power of music, you know. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So that's what, what kind of. Well, I wanted to go back to that. But just in, in the earlier days, what was the vibe? So that's your cousin. He's, yeah. gr- you know, his career is blooming and things. What was it? in the neighborhood like the was that like would you be telling people you know that's my cousin or oh, or, yeah. or were people were people oh, yeah. were other people like oh man he he he's gay or something? what was what was yeah, that well, type of thing okay i got i got i got a question on every one of those questions right i mean i answered all that um so it, after maybe dirty mind you know when he started getting more popular and famous you know, I didn't too much have to say he was my cousin because everybody else did that for me. You know, <laughs> okay. they knew who I was and they knew I was related to, you know. Mm. So that was cool. If, you know, and then, you know, uh, Minneapolis, were, you know, of course, there were people talking that that gay stuff. But, you know, it was what it was. You know, I've been suspended for fighting so many times behind him. <laughs> really? <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, my God. My mom was like, man, listen, OK, you know, 
you don't get upset if nobody says nothing. You know, he's a star and they're going to say all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. You know, and you don't need to be fighting over that because it ain't that serious, basically. Damn. You know, <laughs> that's uh, crazy. Yeah, many of butt whoopings, bro. Trust me. <laughs> OK, so you was holding him down. Yeah, let... but I'm Hey, that's my cousin. You can be talking crazy about my right. cousin, you know. Yeah, we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But it's cool. It okay. is what it is. Okay, you know? so you came up at the same time I did, but you're in Minneapolis. You are related mm-hmm. to Prince. So you also have, you know, I throw this in there. Michael Jackson was big. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. You, you started to kind of get some of the early rap, mm-hmm, Run mm-hmm. DMC, all of that's Everybody. coming through as well. Yeah. Um, and then you also are in Minneapolis, so you have you know, Andre Simone, yeah, you know, Jesse Day, come on. Morris Day, all of these cats. Alex, yeah, man. So talk and to me a little and, uh, bit about those. What was their influence? Okay. You know, influence on y'all as well. Also, I'm going to speak about speak on Sue Ann Carwell. Okay, yes. You know, and uh, we just we're like family, bro. I can call her right now and say, "What's going on, man? You know, what's, what, what are we doing today or something?" You mm-hmm. know. <clears throat> Alexander O'Neill. It's funny you asked me. Uh, we mentioned him uh, one time. I was flying to Chicago one time, and uh, I guess his, he was doing uh, a concert for the United Negro Fund in Chicago. Mm-hmm. And he came in. We sat because he knew who I was, you know, because of due to the after parties that I was able to attend. You know, um, so he's you know he sat next to me. We talked for the whole flight, man. You know, and hung out. And then at, at his time, this was way before. Now, this was his first uh, album, so he wasn't really that known either, mm-hmm. you know. But, uh, you know, there was a couple of, I remember a lady, you know, something. And I said, do you know who this is? And she was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I had to put my, uh, you know, it, uh, two cents introducing him, you know, and let her to let her. Because, you know, I was I was, you know, I'm not really starstruck. It's more of a respect thing. I think that's I, I think it's different being starstruck and, and having respect of what a person does, you know, <laughs> but he's a cool cat, man. He's a cool, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis are cool dudes too. Okay. You know? Yeah. I mean, you know, I was, I was, I was in my teens, you know, when uh, we were able to hung out. Matter of fact, Chantel and Jesse Johnson are cool. They, they're still cool to this day. Uh-huh. Also, uh, Jelly Bean Johnson lived across the street from me on uh, 14th and Vincent, Vincent on the North side. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, so I'd get out of school. He'd be practicing in the basement. You know, I could go over there and say, hey, what's up, man? And this is when their first album was out. Okay. Man. Yeah, that was cool. You know? Wow. wow. Did, yeah. um, and just to get a vibe again, because I know what I would be trying to do. What, what was it like, you know, you was young teenager and all this stuff is popping and, and people know you related to Prince and, all, and, you know, all these people. What was it like with the young ladies? Was that like? Let me tell you that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. Listen, bro. Oh, you related okay. to me? Oh, <laughs> listen. You know, remember now? Remember, I I just knew I was Prince at one time. You know that, right? <laughs> I see. I didn't get that part. Now that, 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 oh, yeah. that okay. So here we go. I said that in the, I said that in that interview that you did. You know, when we did the panel. But yeah, okay. at one point, I seriously just knew I was Prince, man. Because <laughs> listen. I'm in high school. Purple Rain is out. Okay, right. that was big. Now, I mean, what woman didn't like Prince, man? Right. You know, <laughs> I got into a lot of fights because of that too. A lot of women, you know, was like looking at me and not their boyfriends at the time. Hilarious. You Hilarious. Know? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about now. You got to imagine that. Okay, anybody that's a Prince fan is definitely going to be a fan or want to be close to a relative mm. that's that's mm. that close. Because they want to know, they're going to ask questions, and everybody wants to know how what this mysterious guy is about, right. you know. <laughs> so yes, that brought a lot of uh, yes, Lord, <laughs> 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 that was cool, you know. That that was sad. that was cool, you know. So I was able to experience some attention from all women from all walks of life, not just you know girls my age, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that, yeah, that put me on a on a, on a bigger, you know, on, on a different on a different level, man. You know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I'm like, man, this music thing, I'm 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 in, I'm in all the way, you know. So is this when? So when do you get like the bug to like this is what I want to do? Did you already have that at that point, or what was I what did, got you into it? I did, I did. Be, from the fact that 
my cousin is, you know, came from nothing to this bigger than life entertainer, hey. you know? So, and, and then his music was, I was, I dig, I, I liked his music. It wasn't just, he was my relative. He was jamming to me, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, man, okay, I got me a little, first thing I got was a, I think it was a drum set, an old drum set I tried to put together, you know, in my basement. So, you know, I learned how to play, I taught myself how to play the drums, the guitar, the bass, a little bit of the keyboards, you know. But at the time, I was doing the little lip sync shows at my high school because I wasn't, I, you know, I wasn't really confident in singing or even even playing at that point because I wasn't on the level I wanted to be, you know, and you can't embarrass yourself in front of a bunch of people, you know, <laughs> at all, you know. So it was like, you know, it, it was cool, man. It was cool, you know. The music aspect of it, um, let me see. I got blah, 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 blah. I was about, honestly, I've been playing since I was like 17, 18, jamming around or whatever, but I never took it serious, man, until like, Mm, 2008 maybe oh, i got okay. you know my own my little studio thing you know piece together this was back in the day piece together a little makeshift studio mm -hmm. to learn you know because when i used to record you know we did it on uh reel to reel <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. yeah remember. so like this digital stuff i had to get used to this digital stuff it's a whole different format you know was there any but pressure I, to like no, I got to be as just good me. as prince or something like yeah, that or? yeah and that all came and that and, and that's the pressure i put on myself you know, because, you know, in order to be the best, you got to strive and do things to be the best, you know? That, that's um, for sure. Yeah. You know, and then, I mean, he, he ain't nobody that you just going to come behind and, and, and dominate either. <laughs> no, not at all. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. I got, yeah. I, I have a lot of pressure that I put on myself, man, based on that, you know? I can imagine. So, I can imagine. Yeah. A, I mean, but and plus I, all the guys you're around that's coming from yeah. that town, too. Yeah, yeah, because they're going to be looking at me with, with the microscope, you know, as well as listening. So I got to bring it, you know. Uh, okay, so and then you start to do music. Was there, did you have, I mean, when was it like when you told other family members, like, I want to do this too? Was there anything uh, like that? That was in, let me see, I, re I released the first album in 2014, and that's when it was, that's when I was pretty much, you know, feeling like I, I can make this happen, you know? Mm. Yeah. My sister, Chantel Mandeville, of course, uh, she's, she's been real supportive too, because, you know, she's the babysit Prince, as you might remember, mm -hmm. in the, you know? Yeah. So it's not Prince anymore. It's me. And there was, you know, for the longest, you know, I looked up to him and want to be like him, like I said, but at, you know, he told me personally that trying to be like him wasn't cool. Mm. <laughs> well, when did you say this? This was at the 84 Purple Rain party. Oh, wow. After party, you know, in front of all the women, because, you know, they were outside and I'm inside the, the security circle. Matter of fact, Andre was standing right there on the dance floor. We're on the dance floor, you know? And uh, I said, yeah, Prince, uh, I just did Let's Go Crazy. I just did a lip sync show at the high school pep rally or something. And he was like, so? You can't live the rest <laughs> of your life trying to be like me. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but, hey, but you know what? Yes, you gotta understand, you know, this is who people are, you know, and you have to read between the lines before you take things personal, mm -hmm. you know? And the older I get, the more I realize how important originality is, you know? Right. So, I mean, it's great to be influenced, but, you know, I look at it as everything I do, it, it comes from me and God, you know? A lot how, of people how, try to. How did you ahead. take that when he asked you that? At the time, it, how did you take it? Man, listen, bro, it, it broke me down. It it, 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 you know, it hurt my feelings, you know, but I, you know, I couldn't let that be, be known, you know what I'm saying? You can keep in mind, this is a packed after party, Prince's after party, you know? So, you know, when I got home is when it resonated, <laughs> you wow. know? I mean, was but other that, people around when he said that? Like they yeah, said it loud. This was a packed after party on the dance floor, man, <laughs> you know? I got you. And uh, yeah, it was, you know, and it's, and you know, there was more women than, than men, you know? So it was, you know, I was, yeah, I was embarrassed. Then, you know, the funny thing, the, the, the people and the bodyguards, when he said that, they looked at me, they were like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, but damn. They, you know, but, yeah, yeah. But they you know, they ain't going to say nothing. Right. You know, everybody sure, was right. just like, <gasps> like, it felt like the, the, the music stopped and everything really, you know, mm. but it was cool. You know, 
I, I understand it more now, like I said, than I did when it when it went down. Right. You know, so it is what it is. Is it, that's probably the best advice he could have gave me. You know. Huh. Did you uh, did you tell other anybody else in the family hear about this situation after it happened? Of course, I told my mom immediately. Oh, okay. <laughs> I told my mommy. You know, and. Uh, <laughs> I've told I've told everybody in the, in the media family, but I've told a few people about that. That was my story for that lasted about a year after that happened, mm. you know. Mm. But it is what it is, you know. That doesn't change, you know, who he is and what he was about, or my love for him, or anything, you know. <laughs> Did your mom <laughs> like let me? I'm talking to him. Goddamn, don't even know my yeah. baby. Yeah, my mom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can she only was, imagine you know, as a family. I can imagine yeah. how they would have been like. Oh, oh yeah, you know. Yeah, you know, and then my mom and his mom and my mom and his mom were twin sisters, but they were totally opposite. They were, you mm. know, they were opposite. You know, my mom was more of the the gangster of the group, and my aunt was, like I said, was a kickback in the in just behind the scenes type. You know, wow. so that was I miss her too. God bless her. You know, man. Um, I was, I was just to ask you too. Did you uh you ever meet? I'm sure you did. Prince's dad. <laughs> Of course. Yeah, what, was your, what was your uh, you know, recollection? Let me see. What did I remember him? Well, I'm going to keep it, you know, during that time when he was around, you know, of course we knew what the dysfunctions in the household was. Mm. Okay. So that's that's pretty much all I remember of him. You know, um, he had, uh, you know, this was after the Purple Rain uh, thing, and he had the Purple BMW that Prince had got him and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And I had seen him. I was going to WC, WOC at the time, and I happened to see him. There was a grocery store next door to the school, and as I'm going to school, I seen the purple BMW. I knew what you know what the car was, and I went up and called. He was coming out the store, and I talked to him, and he kind of acted like he didn't even remember me or knew me, you know. Mm. So I don't know what that was about, but uh, <laughs> wow! Welcome to the family of, of <laughs> Mr. Prince. You know, I well, mean, that's many times that I was. Go ahead. <laughs> well, no, I don't want to cut you off. I, it, you, just what you just said there, and I'm I'm curious. Like, like a lot of families, there's always mm. different stuff going on. How, you All know, it was makes me want to ask too, because I, you know, from a fan's point of view, a lot of times people be like, "Oh, well, Prince didn't have much to do with his family," or and maybe because we didn't see these things, we have what we know, right? Mm. But that's right. sort of like one of those narratives people try to put out there. But I'm asking yeah. you, like. How was your family? Like, were you guys close or were there just like any other family? There was some, you know, close to some people, not close to others. Or Yeah. Well, I would say this. He was more closer to my mother, you know, and I hope this doesn't sound bad, but, you know, he was a lot more apt to being around my mom or, you know, mm -hmm. acknowledging my mother a lot. Not saying that he didn't hit his own mom, but like I said, she was considered the favorite aunt back in those days, mm -hmm. you know. So, I mean, you know, I can only speculate anything else. I got you. you. Know. Where, where was, and then, cause I never hear much, where were the grandparents? Who were the grandparents? The grand, during you know, what time? Like, I guess during, your mom's mother and father. Okay. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, they all passed. They passed away long. Uh, okay. You know what? Honestly, because I, I remember a lot when I was little. Uh, my grandma passed away. I remember going to the funeral. I guess I was maybe six or seven. Oh, maybe. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I never knew my grandfather. I never knew my grandmother, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, of situations, whatever. But I just remembered all I remember of my grandmother is going to the funeral. So, okay. And you you know, said you were around six? Yeah, six or seven, yeah. maybe. Okay. So, yeah. yeah really young. And look, I, I asked that because I know I can speak to our black families. So that's why. I'm, oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. the grandparents are very. A uh, strong Protective. part of yeah, yeah of yeah. the family, and so sometimes when I and when they they're not That's there, you can kind of can see yeah. the effects of that, or you can see when they are there. Oh, because yeah. a lot of times, the grandmother, yeah. grand, it's this instant respect. Everybody going whatever yeah. dysfunctions oh, yeah. we have, you gonna fall in line. That's when, right. When grandma, you know, they in yeah. here, you know, we gonna get together. So That's, That's right. why I asked about that. There will be consequences. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So okay, but uh, all right, so. Uh, then I, we're kind of on the train of where you had that interaction with Prince at the club or whatever that was. And I was just mm -hmm. hearing how that affected you and 
sort of what mm-hmm. some of the other family members thought. Um, did, yeah. had you, did you ever speak to him again after that? Um, yeah. Oh my God. Let me tell you this story. I, you know, one thing I'm not going to do is, you know, you know, make up, make up these things or, or do the line oh, sure, thing, right. you know, come on. Um, when he was filming a uh, sign of the times at Paisley park, right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is funny, but it is what it is. Uh, we at the Mets, you know, there was like about six six school buses at the Met Center Stadium, and a friend of mine, matter of fact, I don't know if you've heard of him, uh, Marshall Charlov. He does Prince tribute now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and matter of fact, he had a uh, Matt Fink in the band for a while. You know, oh, I've heard of this band. Then I, I just didn't know the, the uh, Purple Experience. I mm-hmm. think yeah, yeah, the Purple Experience. Yeah, Marshall's. You know, he was a guitar player in my in my high school band. You know, but um, so. You know, I met Paisley Park, they're filming a the movie, and I see a couple of, I was just an extra in the crowd, you know? Mm. So I see there was a guy named Spark Kale. You know, matter of fact, he hung up, we were all hanging out with Ingrid Chavez back in the day. Okay. You know? Yeah, we, we used to, because he had a, like a warehouse kind of apartment thing that we used to go do choreography and practice and stuff over at his place, you know? So he's filming the movie, man, and he sees me. He has his security, get me off the crowd and bring her back to where he is. And the first thing that he told me was, I'm doing a movie. Don't be trying to give me no demo tapes. You understand? (laughs) (laughs) You feel me? So now this is the second time that he has acted up in front of these people, right? This is Prince saying that. Yeah, that's him. Okay. Yeah, no, this is after this is after the Purple Rain after party. When he told me don't try to be like him, right? (laughs) So then he sends me back over to the area where I'm at. So I'm right in front of him. So in the scene, he was doing slow love. And the scene at the end of the, uh, as a song, we're supposed to be lighting our lighters and cheering and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So I got to tell it. So when we were supposed to be cheering and lighting the lighters, I was booing. I was booing. Wow. (laughs) You hear me? And you, can you imagine the, what the vibe and the, and the, and it, what the energy was in, in up in the air, man? You feel me? Because at this point, I'm I'm a little upset now. Because now, you know, now it just don't make no sense to me. You feel me? Right. And I was let me see. Sometimes came. I was was I 18? Was that was that 88? It came out or 80? No, you had to. So I was. You were probably you had to be like 17, 17? 18. Okay. Yeah. And you started doing the making okay. of it. Yeah, 17. So I was still yeah. in high school when that came out. Yeah. Okay. So now check this out. So, and then you know he had a the guy one of the guys I knew. That was a stand-in on his piano, you know, for the camera angles or whatever. He was oh, getting like a hundred. What's this gentleman's name? I think I know. His name is Spark Cow. I haven't seen him man since I was seventeen. Okay. Spark Cow. Um, and he was getting like a hundred and fifty a day. We were getting, I think it was fifty bucks for like all that all day, half mm-hmm. the night. Um, so when I so when we're leaving, I asked Prince because he was over like in a, a studio monitor area, looking at this stage from the the screens or monitors or whatever, right? And uh, I asked them for something to eat because I seen they were they're in the cafeteria eating, right? So I go back and ask them, could I get something to eat? <laughs> and he gets on the speakers. He jumps up on the speakers, man. And of course, in front of everybody, and, and told me he was like, "Man, didn't I tell you to leave me alone or something cool?" And threw his hands up like, "Damn!" Like I'm really like really bothering them. You feel me? And then security comes out behind me and says, "Excuse me, sir, you've just been banned from the filming location." You're gonna have to stay outside out, outside the whole time we're filming. Man. How about that? Okay. Ooh. So at yeah, so at this point now, once again, my heart because now not only is he my cousin, I'm one of the biggest fans that he probably ever had, you know. And uh, you know, it was one of those that, that so now I'm like, man, listen, I okay, I don't want to be like you no more. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I yeah, I'm gonna be better than I'm gonna be better than you now. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So that's when I kind of get the idea of it's okay to be yourself and do what you do. You can be, you know, uh, inspired by things, but it's you that separates you from everybody else. And the originality is, is mandatory, you know? Interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. I, I mean, I'm trying to look at it. I'm looking at it through your eyes and then I'm looking at it through his. I'm trying to 
I don't know if he was just under a lot of pressure. <laughs> I well, mean, sure but was. this had been an you know, ongoing kind of thing, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Said. You know what my mom used to say all the time? Well, you know, Prince is busy. You know, I'm a teenager. I'm not trying to hear what, not, right. you know, busy, you know? You like, but, you're just like, that's my cousin. He exactly. Be, he supposed to drop yeah, you know? Yeah. Exactly. He's supposed to be, you know, glad to see me just like I'm glad to see him. Yeah. You know, but, you know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I don't have no, you know, no ill will towards nothing in that for that matter you know man it was that and so uh and that was like an 87 or something yeah <clears throat> yeah and uh what what do you so when you walk away from that are you like i'm not really following him like that no more i mean that's your family no, I, I've always, any oh that's my it, no it was more of i'm just gonna focus on doing me but I always listen to his music because I'm always going to be inspired by what he did, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's, that's kind of like where I got my, the fuel to what I do, to, you know? And now I got this co- competitive thing going on too. I got to be better than him now, you know? Mm. Okay. Okay. You know, the attitude of a teenager at that time, you know? Were you, uh, yeah. were you working, starting to kind of work on music or do your thing? Uh, well, you know, let me see. I was in, let me see. I was still a teenager. Um, I had to do the school thing. I had to, you know, I had to start becoming a young adult. So I took a, you know, a, 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 my journey was a little, <clears throat> a little different, you know, uh, you know, just, you know, things happen, you know, so I, I, you get distracted, you know, I, I, I read you know, in what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you know, we go through things that not everybody goes through, you know, but it was cool. You know, I'm here and I'm back. You know, uh, I'm ready. Okay, so and, and you let me know when you you know going too far or you want to swerve no, or something good. else. No, coming out of because uh, I'm just curious. Uh, you know, you probably graduated eighty eight. Eighty eight. Yeah. Yep. Right. Same me. Uh, That's right. You, now I'd say this, and it's not about me, but just I, I'm comparing what I'm, for me super influenced by Prince and I was starting to do music at this time as well and decided that, yeah, really? I'm gonna, yeah, man. Oh yeah. That's my original thing is uh, I started okay. out as a rapper because, because I had to, because that's what was popping at the time, but I'm listening yep. to Minneapolis stuff and, and doing yeah. that. But, you know, that's I right. decided to go into the start, do the school studio thing and spending all my money in the studio and just staying in there, <laughs> a lab rat, right. you know, and getting busy. Yeah. yeah. That's right. uh, so I'm curious, what what was your, but at the same point, I have to work, you know, I still yeah. had to go to get a job. Uh, yeah. I was, I didn't have kids or was single at that time. So I started doing that route, but I'm curious for you with all of this, like that's your cousin and, and you're in that, you're in Minneapolis. Do you decide to, uh, I'm just curious, what happened next when you at high school? Did you, other things uh, in life I, happen or did you st- stick um, with music or? No, no, no. Well, see, I was one, I was a teenager, you know, I moved out, you know, when I was at my mother's house when I was around 17, 18. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, So, you know, you know, uh, any, any kid back, back in the day is going to be like, I can't wait to be grown and all that, Mm. you know? So once that happened, then uh, it was like, I don't know if I want to be grown right now, you know? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but it was like, like, yeah, you know, but it's like you out there now ain't, ain't no, you know, and my right. mom was, you know, my mom wasn't no joke. You ain't just going to be doing what you want to do and live in my house. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then follow and these it. rules or you can get out. That's there. right. That's right. Know. You know, <laughs> so, hey, you know, me and my baby's mother of my youngest daughter, we had an okay. apartment. Matter of fact, a block from Rudolph's on Franklin. Okay. And yeah. So that happened for a couple of years. Mm-hmm. Um, me and around that time, Pepe was, uh, working with Jesse Johnson on one of his albums. And, uh, he had, that's when he had, uh, submitted this Pepe gave him the song, uh, do yourself a favor. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, so I was hanging out with Pep, Pep would come and get me, man. And I would go out there and record at his house, you know? Okay. And, uh, we would hang out because, you know, if he was my sister's ex-husband, so, right. You know, it's, you know, we were, that's my brother-in-law. You know, let, so. let, let me ask you about Pepe, and, and, and we're going to be interviewing him soon. Uh, okay. Finished his book. Uh, and I'll just say, when I read the book, and I've met Pepe a couple times in person, mm-hmm. um, but just reading the book and just what I thought I knew about him, what I know now, 
he seemed like he reminds me of <clears throat> how I can equate it to. He was that older. He could have been yeah. like the uncle or yeah. just that older brother that your your moms yeah. or somebody knew that was solid yeah. and that oh, you yeah. respected. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You come and get yep. game from him and whatnot. And, yeah. and I'm curious, yeah. was that is that how he really that's, was? That's just exactly how he is, man. Yeah. He's a stand up dude. You know, he, I mean, I know I've known him since, I, you know, what, 10, 11 years old. I just talked to Peppy about three days, or four days ago, maybe. Okay. Yeah. You know, he's, uh, you know, I'm in Vegas. He has a, he has a, a place out in Laughlin out here also. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. So, you know, yeah, real cool cat, man, you know. And how, how did, you said you recorded at his, at his place? Yeah, at you his know? house. Yeah. Okay. I was, I did a little bass track on some. We were, matter of fact, to show you how old, or how long ago this was, he had an Oberheim, you remember the Oberheim keyboard? Oh, yeah. And drum yeah. Machines? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do they even make them anymore? <laughs> if they, they do, they're high? like super expensive, I would imagine. Right. Yeah. Those collectors had them, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that was cool. So he was giving me the idea how strong st structure, arranging and stuff, you know, and layers, fires, different tracks, you know, and it, building a song from scratch. Okay. Wow. And I, he would come and get me like every other day, man. He would come and get me, you know, and, we, you know, he would record me. You feel me? Not, you know, listen to it, put it on a cassette and come home and listen mm -hmm. to it, you know, but um, the time that's that powerful, we spent, man. That's powerful. It is because, for, you know, for, he took, for man, man to do that, that's how I had mentorship, you know what I'm saying? It, exactly. You know, so that was that was real real cool, man. You know. Okay, yeah, salute to Pepe, man. Yeah, that's right. Great dude. He's cool. Wow. Okay. So, um, you start to go that path, and you said it wasn't until twenty or two thousand and eight. You said that you decided I'm yeah. going to get serious with music. What what yeah. made you change yeah. your mind? Because at that point, I've done everything a person could do in 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 that time of life <laughs> you know yeah getting into trouble you know you know just doing stuff okay. that i didn't need to be doing and so that got played out so now you was now out in the streets more, i was out there man okay is that it? you know learn that, from that, that no, I'm just <laughs> oh, okay hey ah, we no, all went through some stuff man <laughs> ain't, you, know, you know it is what it is super fly and all gotcha. that but you know you see the thing so, i asked that because that type of whether it was that route or gangster or something or, or just that whole yeah, player kind that, of, was, that was, was a very way. powerful thing on a lot of us, you know, yeah. particularly, and I didn't even ask you, I don't know where, you, where your dad is at this time, but for a lot no, of right, black I, males, that lifestyle could be very attractive. It is. As an alternative to, you know, being straight and doing things the straight yep. route. So I can, I can it, understand yep. where, you, you know, where you're coming from. Yeah. So there was a time, man, I was like, okay, do I want to do this or not? And the question was, the answer was yes. You know? So me not knowing how the digital world is in recording, I had to get all the equipment. I had to get brand, I had to get everything brand new and, and learn how to work it, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Which is so another be, whole way of thinking, another education yeah. and yeah. and stuff yeah. as well. But, but I, yeah. I got to throw this stuff in here because again, that's the fact that you could even, say, you know what, let me flip this and learn this yeah. whole new thing and do that yeah. is to be yeah. uh, acknowledged that we, we know how to get stuff done. When we want to do something. That's no right. No matter what it is, tech stuff, or whatever, right. whatever. Right. So, so you know, yeah. in, in my lifestyle, there was no future in that. And I'd show wasn't going to go out like, no, like a sucker, you know, by gotcha. making bad decisions. So that was a no brainer to me at that point. You feel and me? You had kids at this time and stuff too? I have two daughters. I have okay. uh, uh, Amaris is thirty six. Oh and wow! My daughter, yeah, OG, <laughs> and uh, my young, yeah, my younger daughter is Brittany. You okay. Know? Yeah. Man. So, yeah, man. So, right now, <laughs> let's talk about Stomp House Records, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, so uh, Stomp House Records. You say you put the first release out in two thousand fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. Lead, lead me into and, that. What was it like to get that record done? And work oh, on? man. Let me tell you something. Listen, man. You know, I went from, okay, I went from want to be an artist, performer, which I do still. But I, when I thought about, because I, I was surrounded by a lot of talent in my neighborhood, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was like, man, I, you know, 
And I was doing, I was making beats and a lot of the singers and rappers in my area would have me make them beats, you know? And the stuff that, you know, that we would come up with, man, was, was just, it just blew my mind, you know, like, wow. So with that being said, I said, well, you know what? I can get my own record label and start my own situation, you know? Mm -hmm. And, uh, my, you know, my artist, my artist roster, it grew. You know, um, right now I'm uh, I, I got a, a a rapper, female rapper that is Michael. Man, she is so cold, bro. You what's, feel me? What's her name? Oh, her name is Thexy D. Thexy. Thexy. Oh, Dexy. Thexy. D. Okay. Thexy, thick and sexy. Oh, okay, <laughs> so I didn't want to throw it. Out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, man, <laughs> listen. Like, really? I met her, man. She was just a freestyler. She just freestyled. You hear me? Gosh. I got with her. And showed her free to me in my mind, freestyling is cool. But if you want to be serious about this, you got to learn how to you got to write it down, right? You know, how to create a song, and stuff. yeah. So she had wrote something, so she started writing something the day after I met her, man. And she was over here the day after that and was ready with a full song r- written and everything. You feel me? Okay. <clears throat> and when she, laid it, when she laid it down, I was like, wow, I got some dudes that rap on some of my stuff that ain't messing with her, and no disrespect, man, but. Lyrically, she's a she's a monster, man. Like for real. Hmm. I have a, I have a, a Renee McCoy is also uh on the Stomp House label thing. She's uh she's like a gospel. She has that, how could I say you know, she's she's all positive, encouraging music. You know what I'm saying? And she's hmm. as a matter of fact, she's from Minneapolis too. And also, she's Mark Brown, that's that's her cousin, is Mark Brown. Oh, really? That's okay. something. All right, all come around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. And then uh I have you know, I don't know if you've seen the video or not, but Johnice, she's another singer singer that I work with. And okay. she's a hell of a singer too, man. Excuse my language, but you know, these I mean, this is just raw talent that would be around me, you know. Then there's another guy, Samaj. His name is Samaj, you know. He raps and sings, you know. And uh it was like I was just able to handpick these people, man, that had this talent, man, that, it, you know, it just made everything easy. It made everything easy. And, you and know? are you, you're producing the records and stuff, too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, hey, man, you know, we got a lot of stuff that's going to be that you're going to be hearing and seeing like real, real shortly. You so know, it, it's very interesting to hear you talk about Stomp House and just, you know, how that's come around, because you know, I can look at this and I'm looking at it like I can just see how, you know, you, you're younger and there was Prince and he's doing his thing. And then you mentioned Pepe mm-hmm. and how you learned some things from him. And I can just see like this, the, the wheels of influence continue to turn. Now you're in a position mm-hmm. where you yeah. have a label and you are bringing mm-hmm. other artists on, putting them yeah. on. And different, yeah. It's just, a, yeah. you know, the whole succession of it just continues to roll, man. That's actually pretty dope. Yeah. You know, wow. thanks to him. I mean, it, you know, I don't, I don't think, well, I can't say that, but if it wasn't for him, I don't know what, where I would, you know, what my mindset would be because of the lack of that influence. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. just being around that creative environment yeah. and your family and interest. friends are part of it. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, so with Stomp House, like what, what do you, so you put out an album in 2014. What's the next thing? What are you guys working on now? Okay, well, we got the we got a couple of videos that we're about to we got about three or four videos that I'm uh, I'm down to writing the, the storyboard for the last video, okay. and in a couple of weeks, yeah, and then in a couple of weeks, uh, we're going to be releasing. We're going to do the video, and then of course we're going to release it immediately. Uh, like the the young lady, the rapper, she has a a sing. She has a couple of singles out, and then she just did another one with a with a guy man that I met. This is a funny story. Uh, his name is Dre. He's a Puerto Rican guy, right? Mm-hmm. He, he was my cable guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, cable guy comes in, you know, cool younger cat. I'm like, hey, what's up, brother? So anyway, he sees that I got the studio in my house, you know, and he was like, well, yeah, man, I do beats and I and I rap too. Now, you know, I, I've been here, I've been here, yeah, I've been hearing that since forever, you know. Okay, that's my phone. Sorry about that. Are right, you good? Um, so. He, uh, make a long story short, man, he plays me some of his stuff, right? 
And when I heard him, I was like, what? <laughs> you know, hey, man, like for real, it's hard. To, I'm telling you, bro, it's hard to impress me. I, I mean, imagine. it's really hard to impress me with this music. There's a lot of celebrities that are doing stuff nowadays that I wouldn't even listen. I wouldn't even, you know, that I'm not impressed with, you know? So it was like, to me, that's, a, you know, you can impress me, man. I mean, like consistently, then, then you're on to something. You well, know? good thing you didn't do him like Prince did. Like, don't play me no exactly. damn. <laughs> don't play yeah, me no damn. Exactly. Because, you know, hey, everybody gets a chance and then I can say if I like it or not and end it or, or continue it. Okay. You know? Wow. So, With, uh, so, so let me ask this because I know people, okay, when they hear you're doing music and they know mm -hmm. The pedigree you come from, or at least yeah. associated with, the first thing they yeah. go, well, uh, is it as good as Prince, or or yep. or yep. they would be like, do you get any support? No, from the <laughs> state or something. You know what I mean? Like, no, uh, I don't. Let me let me expound on that briefly. Um, I think I seen Taika at the funeral. That was the last time I. I seen Taika at the funeral, okay. um, and and that was the last time I seen Taika. You know, uh, mm -hmm. we don't communicate. You know, I'm sure she's busy or, or whatever. You know, I haven't. I, I, it's not like I could just call her and say, "Hey, cousin, oh, what's going on? How you doing?" Or whatever. You know, mm -hmm. but you know, I wish everybody the best, man. You know, and 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 I always keep her in my prayers because you know she has a lot of pressure too. I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. I'm, you know, I'm sorry. Is your mother your mother still alive? No, she passed oh. away a year after my aunt Maddie passed away. Oh, my condolences. My sorry. aunt Maddie, Prince's mom, passed away in 2000. My mom was right after her. Oh, oh one. Mm. Yeah, my, you know that was you know it's always hard when you lose a loved one, bro. You know, especially as your parents. And I'm exactly so you know, and I'm not good at death anyway. Like, there's people that can do funerals all day. I can't. I, it's hard for me to do that. I you know. Mm. It's just, hey, it's just one of them things, man. I, I know it happens, and I know that's just mm. how life is. But wow, you know, what was the uh, passing of Prince? Uh, you say you're at the funeral. Was that devastating? Uh, uh, devastating. How did that bring the family together at all? If it was a that, well, not to say what it was a part, but no. but actually, the, the, good question. Um, it did to a certain extent, but not to the level of how our parents did and kept the family together mm. you know um my mom was that person i had a cousin named mary kate riley and uh, i had an aunt named mary so you know i didn't have my grandmothers but my aunts they were like they were the grandmothers they were the ogs mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. they made sure every holiday we got together and had dinner you know and they stayed in contact all the time if there was a situation they'd be the ones to handle it you know so I did, you know, yeah, I, I I got the feeling of the grandma and the, you know, that type of uh, uh, parenting, I guess you could say, or, or, you know, so it was, it was cool. It was cool. Where, where does, where does the family stand now? Who, so, you know, in a lot of things, I think we're similar in this respect that our grandparents and some of the older aunts and aunties, uncles mm -hmm. have passed on and yeah. the new Oh, oh geez, over. The, oh, we supposed to step up and set the yeah, dinners exactly. and have that. Yeah. Has that start to happen yet? In your situation? You know what? To be honest, okay. Uh, my cousin Chaz held a, uh, a cousin's reunion. Okay. Okay. And uh, I flew out there for that. My sister and a couple of uh, other relatives got put that uh, together, you know, and Taika and her husband was there. You know, so, her, you know, that was real cool. That was cool. But other than, you know, like after that, it's like it is what it is. Then we're back to the distance type of thing. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's nothing new. I, you know, it is it is what it is. We, you know, I love my family. I'm sure they love me. But the communication just ain't there. You know, right, it happens. Right. You know, I got things to do, too. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. I mean, we yeah, that's yeah. the thing. You, you know, know, family, everyone has their own <laughs> lives and. And stuff. Exactly. I just hope that, you know, as we get into the, the newer generation here, people like ourselves and, and, and you know, I would say the men of the family, we are the men of the family at this point. Yeah, I guess I hope that we can remember back when we was a kid 
And yeah. you didn't even, you just took it for granted. You knew that you was going to go over whoever's house uh, for yeah. that dinner. And everything was going to yeah. be laid out. Every, Everyone's going to have a yeah, good time. Every year. Yep. Yeah. And yep. it, it, we have to really bring that tradition back yep. to our families, man, because yep. we're the ones, we're the last ones who had to, got to That's experience right. that before things got so dysfunctional and separated. But I think uh -huh. we're going to have to be the ones to bring that back to get our families because, back, man. Exactly. If you don't, you know, the moral of people's character and a lot of that stuff is going to be in jeopardy. Yeah, man. You know, because, yeah. you know, like, you know, they're like, I couldn't go nowhere in North Minneapolis or St. Paul that nobody didn't know my mom. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So if I acted up, I could be, I could be anywhere. And somebody that know me, my mom would find out. I don't know what it was. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, I don't man. know if she worked for the CIA on the down low or something, but she knew. <laughs> yeah. That, you know, and it was I was connected. Like, yeah, it was I was, all connected. Yeah. yeah you know? So I think if if we do that, there'll be less of what we see today. You know what I'm saying? You know, I didn't grow up sagging. You know, that was right. that, that was not allowed. You know, and then so I don't know. It's like that it is what it is. I, I try to I'm gonna keep it real. And my, you know, from the old school, that's just my get down because the old school is what saved me from, you know, going through a lot extra, you know, a lot of extra stuff that I could have went through. Yeah. You know, yeah, well, so I got that to fall back on, which keeps me, it keeps me grounded though, you know? For sure. And I'm just like, thank God the old school was around for Prince, right? Because without uh, mm -hmm. Miss Anderson, uh, Andre's yeah. mom yeah. coming in, you know what I'm saying? She that was that. Woman. I love her too. Yeah, yeah, somebody that, a, that was I the, love her. Yeah, and yeah. she was the perfect. That's what I'm saying. Wonderful. That type of we yeah. got to get that kind of love and comforting mm -hmm. back. So, oh, you got some issues at home? Okay, let me holler at your yep. parents. But you're gonna, you're not gonna be out in the streets now. You're in gonna be street. somewhere. You're no, gonna be held and accountable and, and, yeah. and all that. And go That's respect right. your parents and stuff. Yeah, we got to get that back. Yeah. And I just, I just feel like, and I'm, I'm, I'm kicking this because it's my, my little pet peeve. I'm just saying. It's time for the men, the, the women, the mothers mm -hmm. always step up. That's, that's, they've always been the backbone. They do. But that's, we, we got to yep, start coming, norm. coming up and just say, like, that's right. And, and I, I say that because I know you're a father as well and you're doing your yeah. thing. Um, but it all, particularly imagine how strong our influence is to our daughters, right? Like when they see us yeah. be that dude. So when yeah. they get out there, yeah. They know, okay, you got to be on know. point like my daddy was, and you ain't. That's right. You know That's what I'm right. So. Or, or, yeah, nothing less. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Um. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I just, just to, uh, and we'll get off of the death thing, but I, I was just <laughs> curious, you know, um, moving forward from this, uh, <clears throat> you know, Princess passing and stuff. What do you, uh, what do you see of of his legacy? That and how would it affect your family? What I want to ask you: How would it, or how or did how it? does how, you know? Where would you want to see like your family's place in oh. this oh. this whole thing? Well, you know what I'd like to see, uh, uh, like we just talked about the closeness of family. You know, um, and and honestly, you know. Sometimes I had, you know, a couple of outbursts feeling like, you know, well, since I'm doing, you know, I do music too. How come I'm not being acknowledged? And, mm -hmm. you know, you know, Prince didn't, you know, I, I tried to get my cousin to, you know, put me on or whatever. That didn't happen. <clears throat> Taika and Omar know I do music, you know, um, a phone call or an invite to Paisley Park. Give me, can I get some studio time? Can I get some acknowledgement? <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, man, you know, but, you know, you got to understand, Mike, I uh, grew up in those dynamics, so it doesn't necessarily affect me like it might anybody else. Because I, I can't judge that situation. If I just I just look at it for what it is and keep doing what I do, mm. you know. That's all. OK, no, I, I, I get where you're coming from. I, I think it's just that it sounds like it's just that acknowledgement. Yeah, to, I see you. And not to yeah. say, yeah, we're going to, yeah, we're going to put, uh, Paisley Park Estate's going to release Stomp House, you know, albums or something yeah. like that. But at least to be able to say, yeah, yeah he's, he's family. Was, and he, yeah. you know what I mean? And, acknowledge yeah. that brother. I, I do. I do what that you're would, saying. Yeah. That'd be cool. 
but it is what it is. Right. I understand. <laughs> so I, there's more work to be done. That's all. It'll happen. Okay. Anything uh, that I forgot to ask or something you want to bring up? I'm sure uh, you can purchase all my music on Stop House Records, uh, all That's music right. sites. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully, maybe we can that. play. We can, you give me something I could play uh, at the end of this thing. So oh, I, I would love to. I would yeah. love to. Yeah. yeah. They got to hear it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They got to, you know, he- hearing is believing. <laughs> you know? Okay. All right. Well, that's man, right. Frank, uh, if that's it, I really appreciate you being honest, man, and just open. And again, you yeah. know, sort of sharing with us, uh, some of us fans, and be able to hear from a family member's perspective uh, yeah. some of that great stuff. So, that, yeah, I really appreciate you uh, sharing the oh, time, man. man. I'm loving it. I, I appreciate the opportunity to tell that story, you know. And I'll, it's, it's funny, this, is, this, this interview has kind of gave me a little more closure to the situation with him not being here too, man. Oh, that's good. You know, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't well, talk man, much about it to many people. You know, <laughs> you know, you're not, uh, you, you don't, uh, I don't know how I would say it. You don't wear that as the badge, like um, no, Prince's cousin no, or something like, you no, know what I mean? Not no, at all. No, I don't. And you know what? Everybody tells me that I need to, that I should, because I have the right to. And it took me a minute. It took me a minute to 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 go there and and to be comfortable with that, especially now that I'm in my own zone mm. with my own stuff, you know. You know, and people that I feel is important enough for me to tell them or whatever I do. Of course, I do. You know, but that's not that's not like I'm a musician. No, that's not like I'm just Prince's cousin and that's it. You know, I'm you know I'm a musician too. Oh, by the way, I'm related to Prince. You know, so that that happens every once in a while. Got it, you know. got it. Okay. Well, yeah. I respect that. Well, uh, once again, where can people find more information about Stomp House Records? It's available for download on all the web, uh, music websites, Amazon, iTunes, you know, whatever, uh, Spotify. Okay. Uh, What's the uh, name what, of the whatever. album? It's called, the first one is called Stomp House Records, Various Artists. Okay. It's like That's a compilation type yeah, gotcha. yeah, because I have the whole crew on that album, except for the new the new uh, artist, which I just released some of her stuff. That's that's available for download. Also, she has a song called "Don't Get It Twisted." It's a single. Okay, you feel me? And she's bangs. She's she's dope, man. I got a, you know like Renee McCoy. She's she's working, you know, and we're just doing it, man, making it happen. I'm just trying to stay focused and don't get caught up and don't get caught up into the whatever uh, is going to distract me. You know, I hear you. And because yeah. of my mind, would you say her name was thick? What? Or thick? Thick C. Thick C D. Thick. Thick C. Thick C D. Let me see if I can find this. You better live up to the name. Goddamn. No, just... Hey man, listen, I ain't going to say that. <laughs> All you got to do is push play. <laughs> hey um, man, for real. What's I tell up? you what, oh, go listen, ahead. I tell you, I tell you what, speaking of the various artists, uh, album that we that's out mm-hmm. there's a song there's a single called turn up that we're all on it renee's on it samaj is on it Thexy's on it johnny's is on it and i'm rapping on it it's called turn up it's called turn up yeah okay that's like the, oh man wait till you wait till you see what we're gonna do in that video bro Uh-oh. oh man it's gonna be man I, I i'm like i'm man you know the work that we did man is dope I'm proud of all them cats, man. They, they made it happen. Where does the name Stomp House come from? It makes me you know think what? of something else. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? I was going to call it Funk House Records at one oh, okay. point. So when I go to copyright it or claim the name, I guess somebody had already used that. You know? uh, so that was, like my, that was like my next choice, and it worked. Okay. So, so now I own that name. Nice. Well, man, yeah. much success. Uh, we want everybody to go and check out, download, purchase the album, the singles, all that. We're going to be yeah. waiting for the video to come out. Oh, um, it's going to be dope. We'll play something here as we exit out of this episode. Uh, again, Frank, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. For coming on. I really appreciate it. And it ladies cool. and gentlemen, show Frank some love. Uh, you know, Give him some thanks when you see him online. Now, they can find you on Facebook, right? Frank? All the time. <laughs> yeah. Right. So what's up? 
excuse me, I'm That's catching right. my breath. Well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, as we close this out, we head into the holidays. So hopefully you have a good, uh, safe holidays with your loved ones. And like I always say, work it like a job. We'll see you next time. Peace. Uh, party like wow. Turn up. Looking at a bunch of asses with no drought. Damn. But you know I'm not complaining. It's like a fine piece of art. Niggas should have framed it. Yep. yep. I'm acting yep. a fool, but I'm a boss. So I can make the rules. No loss. You only take an L if you snooze. Don't be caught up with a thought. Let her do what she do. Yep. I turn yep. up. Yep. Bitch ready to burn up. Flow so cold, but I'm hot like a burn up. 